got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. All right, Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at the Prosper Show with Michael and Andy. And where should we point people towards first? Where, what website can they check out online? www.peisnerjohnson.com or our newest website. Well, that would be salestaxforonlinesellers.com. Oh, wow. That's a good domain. Salestaxforonlinesellers.com. Good, good SEO. Good SEO. <laughs> so, Andy, first start off with what you guys do. All right. Well, we're a CPA firm. And all we do is help people handle their state tax problems. So I always say we can take sales tax off your plate. So are there big pain points? What are the big pain points people are coming to you for? The very big pain points are first, where do we have to worry about sales taxes? Do I have to worry about it everywhere where Amazon sells? Just where I sell? Do I just worry about it in my home state? And, And then what do I do? Do I turn on tax at Amazon? How do I respond to all of their tax policy questions and then once we start collecting tax how do I get it sent in and how can I do this efficiently cost effectively and painlessly if we had another two days we could probably answer all those questions right so are there any um, information on your site where should point people towards to find out because I'm sure you have some some posts and other information on that yeah I mean we really believe in educating our clients And a lot of times they can solve all of their questions just by reading our website. So Sales Tax for Online Sellers has a very robust um, frequently asked questions. We do webinars, free webinars for people to help them understand. Uh, So I would go there first. Uh, I'm going to come back to you. I want you to talk about a horror story in a second, okay? But I want to talk about a big success story first. What's one that sticks out to you? Uh, just recently, we, we do a lot of business with uh, international sellers. So we had a client contact us from Australia. They said, just get us registered in 25 states. And I said, well, let's have a consultation first. Or actually, one of our salespeople said this. And they were hesitant. They didn't want to pay for a consultation. But uh, they ag- agreed to. And in the consultation, I found out they sell coffee. And coffee is a a food product, and it's not taxable in the 25 FBA states. Mm. It's only taxable in about four states. So by the end of this call, which he did not want to do, he was thanking me profusely because now he only had to get registered in four states rather than 25, and he only had to collect on a going forward basis in four states rather than 25. So we reduced his overall compliance costs uh, considerably, um, which... uh, Pretty, pretty good. I wish all the stories could turn out like that, but you, you never know until you, you start talking through the facts. Each, uh, each uh, FBA seller has a different fact pattern. Yeah. That's a huge, huge savings for them. So I'm sure you come across a lot of horror stories. What's yeah. one that we can talk about? And you don't have to name names, but... Yeah, I mean, I love being the bearer of good news. I hate being the bearer of bad news. And it... I, 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 I got a good one. All right, go. We'll go with you next. (laughs) We might have the same one. Um, But, and it really pains me. It really does when someone has a horror story. But I'll just tell one that we just found out about yesterday. In our presentation, somebody came up to us and said they just got a letter from the state of Washington. And Washington wants all their sales reports back to 2006. Wow. And... Once you get notified by the state that you're under audit, I mean, we can help you. In this case, uh, it may not be so horrible because she really sh- doesn't need to s- submit her reports all the way back to 2006, more like 2012, but it's still probably a horror story in the making. And I think Mike's going to tell one in the state of Washington that just happened recently that's a significant horror story. 
So I hate for people to What's just. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to, like, after they submit it, what are they in store for? They're just going to pay a ton of back taxes? There's going to be a ton of back taxes. So she ignored the first three letters that she got, which I don't blame her. Uh, and then they said they she finally responded and she sent all this all these reports in, so they're going to tax her going all the way back to 2006, and we're going to have to fight that thing and say no, 2012. So it's going to be ugly. It's going to be. Is there only a certain number of years? Is that why? Yeah, there's only it's only since 2012 she really had nexus in Washington, but she's already given up that information, and so there's probably going to be a horror story. Not fun. Michael, you have a good one. Yeah, when, when we say we have a good one, it's a, bad one. it's a bad story. It's a good example. I say good because this is a forewarning for people who haven't experienced it yet to do something before they get that. Absolutely. And Washington and California are very, very aggressive right now. And what they're doing is they're going out into people's uh, uh, shopping carts. And they are actually uh, seeing uh, if uh, the uh, seller... It's like a mystery shopper type yeah. of thing. And, and if they're collecting sales tax, they abandon the shopping cart. And if they're not collecting sales tax, then all of a sudden that's a, a target. And we're getting lots of calls from these uh, sellers who the state has found. And you can be a $20 million seller and not have huge cash flow. And we've got this one story, the, the seller just called us, the state of Washington found them. Again, want sales going back 2006, 2008, 2009, and um, they owe $500,000. Wow. And they don't have the, the money to pay it, so they contacted us to work out a payment agreement uh, with the state of Washington. So these the states are getting a lot more aggressive, so we're hearing more and more horror stories on a daily basis. So. To, uh, you know, one of the things that we, we talked about is how do you deal with that past exposure? So with us, it's the, the biggest risk is not taking care of this on a going forward basis. So that's, uh, that's another takeaway. Um, don't be afraid of the past exposure. If the states find you, it's going to be a lot worse. Um, and we do have options on, on how you can move forward and uh, you know, not have to uh, worry so much about this, this past exposure. Is there a prediction on what states, like is it a state is you know, going broke and those people are looking for more money? Is there a trend in the states that are actually going after people? All states are going broke. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they, they all want more revenue all of the time. There's more and more programs, more and more of the population. Uh, there's always a, a need for, for more revenue. So they're always on the lookout for new taxpayers uh, people from outside of the state, you know, people who can't vote them out of office. So uh, online sales, they think they're losing a, a lot of uh, sales tax revenue uh, because, uh, you know, the big shifts away from the, the Main Street uh, retailers to these online retailers. And, and that's why online sellers are a big target right now, because the states are trying to figure out a way to recapture some of that, uh, that revenue. Yeah. So Andy, a, big, a milestone that you're especially proud of in the business? Um, I think our proudest milestone, you know, we're a small business ourselves, but uh, 2017 is our 25 year anniversary. So as I think back, uh, and this is all that we do is state and local tax consulting. It's all we've ever done. And uh, most CPA firms don't even do much of this at all. And to think that we've made payroll you know, every week or every two weeks for 25 years and still thriving, yeah. that's, that's pretty awesome. That is great. So, again, point people towards where they can find out more information online. It's PeisnerJohnson.com or SalesTaxForOnlineSellers.com. All right. Thank you. Live from the Prosper Show. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the same. Right now, I feel like a hundred grand.